Holy guacamole. No, 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 not like that. Oh my goodness, holy guacamole, I have something for you. Today, we are going to make three-step easy guacamole. So stay tuned because you will not want to miss this. Guacamole is a dish that originated in Mexico over 3,000 years ago. Although the Aztecs knew that it had a lot of health benefits, they had no idea of exactly how great this dish was for them. Let's talk about the ingredients. First, you need four avocados. These are high in healthy fats and are considered a superfood. You need one red onion, a handful of sun-dried tomatoes, half of a lemon, one tablespoon of cilantro paste, one tablespoon of ground cumin, a dash of cayenne pepper, and one teaspoon of garlic salt. Step number one, chop up your ingredients. That includes the red onion, the sun-dried tomatoes, and the avocados. Onion. We are gonna use half of this red onion. Make sure you peel the skin off of the outside. If you have a food chopper, this is a great time to use it. So once you get your onion cut into pieces, stick it in here, chop it up, and we'll dump it in the bowl. The sun-dried tomatoes. Now on to the avocados. If you have this handy little tool, it's gonna make this real easy. You just slice around it and then scoop. And it's that easy if you have this handy little tool. If not, you can use a knife, cut around the outside, pull out the seed, score the inside, and use a spoon to scoop it out. This is kind of just an all-in-one that makes that a little bit easier. The origin of the name avocado has a pretty funny backstory, actually. So the word avocado originates from the word testicle. From the word testicle. This is because of the way the avocado grow in a tree in pairs. I promise, I'm not making this up. Look it up yourself. Eventually, when the Spanish adopted the word, they turned it into avogato, and then it migrated into the word that we know today as avocado. Everything is chopped. Let's get ready to mix. And step number two, mix. I'm going to use just a basic potato masher to mix this. I like my guacamole pretty chunky. If you prefer a smoother guacamole, this is when you would want to get out your food processor, throw it in there, mix it up a few times, and then you can take it back out. And step number three, dip and enjoy. Holy guacamole, that is so good. Again, if you like it smoother, put it in a food processor, let it process a little bit and take it back out. But this recipe is so easy and so delicious. Be sure to not miss out on this. Like the video, subscribe to our page, and you will be up to date every time we post another amazing video like this.